For years now, I have been showing you this being a man in a woman's world one. Upon asking Dr. Dennis Nieder from Being a Man group, um, when is the book going to turn up, he kept giving me these excuses that the paper and ink has not stabilised in the world yet. He's waiting for it. What I haven't told you was that I ordered this Being a Man in a Woman's World 2 book two and a half years ago. And you know what? It has never showed up. On February 2009, I ordered the book. My wife brought this for me for my birthday. Upon contacting Dennis Netter about buying the book, he contacted me back and said, can I offer you an e-book for the time being? Because the book is out of print, um, waiting on um, ink and paper to stabilise in the world market. Costs. This is known as a back order, but for this back order, I have been waiting for over two and a half years, since February 2009. Upon each request from Dr. Netta to get the book, he says, hey, you know, it's um, the ink and the paper. My family and wife and friends think that I've been jerked around for too many years over this paper and ink bullshit. So I asked in the group, being a man group, um, has anyone got a spare copy of Being a Man 2? Because I paid $80 for it. This is what transpired from a post that I had done within the group. And I see this as a scam. A scam because he took my money, but he has not intended to deliver the goods. But he gave me a, an interim good. But he wants, he wants to charge me for an interim good that he gave me. A temporary e-book two and a half years ago. Two and a half years ago is a long time to wait for the origin, for the, the real book. This is what transpired in an email in this group when I've asked for my book to be delivered, my paperback book from being a man that my wife paid for two and a half years ago. And I want you to just see this so you don't order any books either and be scammed into getting an e-book and then he'll try to charge you for it later. Dennis, I've paid $80 for, the, for a hard copy book of BAM and was given a PDF um, to surface until the real book could be sent after being on the back order, you said back in February 2009. That was two and a half years ago, February 2009. That's a long time to be dealing with paper and ink wars with your publisher, Dennis. When do you, when do I get a real copy for my $80? For years, all I get is excuses as to why you're not delivering this product. Other authors face a cost also for production and delivery. On the Being a Man website page, my wife paid for this as a birthday gift for me, as I've discussed with you often, offline over the years. Dennis, since February 2009, you have kept telling me it's on back order until you get paper and ink stabilised. If you can't get this worked out in the next week, the delivery of BAM 2 paperback book by mail, then I would hope you offer a money-back guarantee, return policy, ASAP. I feel I've been patient and waited long enough for this no-show delivery since February 2009. See original details below. Contact me off the board and give me your and I'll give you my home address. So anyway, the order is on the bottom there. So you can see I've been very patient for the past two years, waiting for this book that hasn't even been published. He hasn't even got the ink and paper for two and a half years. What the hell? Well, this is his reply coming up. So I read, Paul, are you trying to get yourself banned from the discussion group? I almost marked you as banned, but I'm going to give you one more chance. Do not post this sort of material on the board. Do not copyright material, da 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 da, da. Anyway, if you read all this, this, he's giving me a final warning because I'm asking when you're going to deliver this book that I paid for. Here, he says that 
oh well, you've got an e-book now that I gave to you, I'm gonna, I, I will charge you another $15. What? That's bullshit. He's just um, being a thief. And that's my opinion. Because if he hasn't delivered in the last couple of years, he never will. And that's because he's a thief. And he's thieving other people, I would believe, also. But in my case, this is what happened. And he hasn't intended to deliver. So he tells me I've got to wait. Even two and a half years ago, he told me I've got to wait until he's ready to, to publish, if he ever does. And, you know, he's threatened to kick me out of the group, which I've left now, um, because I dared to ask him when is he going to deliver on his promise of the, the book that I paid for. And, you know, he's ranting and raving and he wants to threaten me, I'll kick you out for asking those type of questions. That's crap. It's just total crap. It's thievery. This man took my money. He never delivered the goods that I asked for. And he gave me an alternative goods. And now he wants to charge me for that and won't deliver the original intended goods. If he is thieved from you, I am sorry about that. I was never involved in his thievery. I was only involved in the promotion because I hung around for many years hoping to get my book um, that I paid for. You're best to contact the Better Business Bureau and report this as a scam as I am reporting this on the internet. I'm sorry from me. My friends don't want nothing to do with this man, neither does my family, anyone, because they know that he's been thieving over the years and not delivering on the goods. That's my opinion. I'd like to hear his excuses. He'll come up with some form of excuse and hope everyone will buy it. Oh, well, I ripped him off because it's the economy. Oh, well, I tried to do my best. Oh, well, it's the ink prices. As an author, I can't produce it. Uh, I told Paul two and a half years ago that it's on the back order. Two and a half years isn't wait long to wait, but I offered him the PDF file until I could get it done. That was two and a half years ago. And now I'm totally shitted off. I ask that you tell people not to buy the books because they will not get what they ask for. And if you dare to complain or ask, he'll try to kick you out or do some stupid bloody thing, you know, to make you feel guilty for him not delivering. You know, he, he kept up this facade that he's my friend, you know, and sort of, yeah, Paul's my mate, a whole lot of bullshit, just so he could sort of work his way around and not deliver. I'm Men's Help TV and I got scammed. No game scheme underscore. Scam bait rappers down with all Australian TV giving the rappers down with all Australian TV giving the rappers.